This to do this does not have my shopping list. What's up, guys? I'm your Speed of T96, and welcome back to Wario World. In the last episode, we defeated the first of the boss, which is known as Dino Mighty. And in this episode, we're going to be going on to the second world, which is kind of thing like a hot house, believe it or not. Only second worlds are like thin like deserts, but no. It's a fantastic world. I believe it or not, I don't know where all the chisels are in this dang world. Anyways, these little skeletons are kind of like the first enemy th in the uh, first world, except they're more like chai bones. Ow! There are these hands, the first has these little weak spots. Oh, so we can only access it whenever it's hand is like this. Oh, wait, we probably... I think we can only pound ground it, believe it or not. Oh! I will be actually trying to do a Let's Play of Banzo Kasui uh, at some point, by the way. I just don't know when yet. I can easily find the switches, but most likely I will not find the um, chest of chest. And, oh by the way, if you get hit while you're trying to pick up one of those things, they'll force you to drop it, so yeah. Anyways. Now, this is very creepy. It's a glue ball with a face! Oh. My, uh, probably surely got turned down. Anyways. This is how we're actually able to get up here, but I think this is where our next treasure is. Uh, our next treasure button, and our next little challenge is. You may notice a little pattern here with the changing, uh, rooms. Now there are some areas of Fritz's like a maze, making it harder for you to get to. I'm gonna see where the little spring is. Uh, there it is. Success! There's some areas that first look like mazes. Like uh, that area, for example. Now, to be honest, I don't know where the yellow treasure is to be 100% honest. I'll try to see if I can find it, but most likely or not, I am not going to be able to uh, get to it. And there ah, are another one of these things! And it's that. Uh, it can also. This one is even harder because of the fact that the. Because this one actually has more of those things that it can, it can spawn. But the funniest thing about it is that its attack can also uh, paralyze the, her own uh, minions. Anyways. I threw it out the ledge. You need a heavy enemy to get through that little area, or we can just use this. Basically what it is, it's like one of those little spiral turntable thingies. Where you can use it to get up there to get that. And now, control! Oh. Me that we have to be. Me that we have to hurry up here. And uh, oddly enough, this one actually contains one of these things. It's really sad, that's what they're called. We, I only have two of them. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. I thought for sure I would fall down you know, without collecting the freaking thing. 
Uh, oh, there it is. There's the yellow chest. Chest. Now, the case that that was just really tricky because, like, really up there, and we had to defeat this thing to be able to find our way up there. Ow! Anyways, all they know now that I look at this level and listen to his music, it kind of reminds me of uh, Sonic Heroes' uh, spooky level. Ow. Does anyone else get that feeling? So, why does everyone hate Sonic Heroes? I honestly think it's a good game. How do these things fly whenever they're like freaking bones? Oh, there's another area first we can use to get up here, but uh, oh, it's not even where I want, is it? Oh, okay, we use that to get up here. Why do you to get over here, don't we? We'll get this first. And then, grab you and Kusplow! I did not know about that. You have to be really careful here. Because like you saw there, these things can very easily do that. <laughs> so you want to be very quick about that. Anyways, you can get this and get out of here! I don't think there's any, any other way back to- Oh, these things. I find them kind of funny because they uh, can even dive in these style waters. They're like these little iron fin fishes. What we have to do in this one is kind of weird. We have to literally jump over these things. They're also even bigger platforms, but it's kind of odd. If we go over here, we'll get this onion, which can heal our health. Okay, you boy. You can also do this if you want to, but it's a little bit risky, but also easy. The reason why it's risky is because there's the chance of it you could fall off. Oh well. I don't think there's anything else over here. This is just the uh, main pathway which we need to go to. What is nice is up here because this is the way you're supposed to go. Is the way you can go at actually to get to something else. This thing can take you up to the next floor, if which I have failed miserably at. Oh well, it can respawn. I just find them so creepy with the little faces and arms. Really, this thing is like this is like an optional thing, and it has one of these things. Anyways, that's cool. It actually knocked out his own little child. Just plow. I was trying to make it go all the way down there, but no. Now you wonder where the whole uh, thing for that is supposed to be. I mean, really, where's a whoa? I never knew that could happen. There's a whoa. 
to this day, whenever my recording stops, I always stick to my game crash. Oh, yeah, there, you want to be careful, because that's an electrical hazard. Next was over here. And I hear one of those things somewhere down there, but I don't know where it is. That little... No! No! Ah, yeah. The little door enemies also can uh, create those, but... Uh, yeah. I don't think the whole thing is actually from here. Yeah, I can see it. Auto spin chicken. What is that? These silver ones, they have more health and they even have an even stronger attack. But if you're attacking them a certain amount of times, be sure to get out of the way. Because that attack is like powerful. Also, those balls are creepy. They have weird little faces. I can pick them up apparently. I did not know that. And if this thing is even quite for anything, I'm just taking it with me because I can. Ow. Okay, this is why you want to stock up your coins. Because, there are no lives in this game, but if you die, you can pay a certain amount of money to continue. Wow! Almost as if he's been sucked. Now, I don't know where that one is to be honest with you, but I'll try my best to figure that out. Anyways, one thing I like is that you literally clip through the floor to actually get to the, uh, to the little floor thing without doing that. That was pretty easy. All I had to do before I just do is avoid that little left to current. Anyways. And you only do this attack twice. Because I think it only does them whenever you like attack a certain amount of times. At least this is where that thing is. Now, as for that blue chest, I don't know where it is, so I'm just gonna jump down below. This next uh, little arena. You can also use these to uh, help defeat your little enemies. But that is super hard to uh, hit. To a uh, swing. Look at that bunch of swan diving. I literally did like a little. Yeah! Can you like throw these things out of here, you know? No, you can't. I think Nintendo were like lazy as to what they could make the enemies for this one. So they just made them like little. Skeleton versions of uh, all the ones. Anyways, welcome to the Grand Slam. Anyways, we can collect that coins. Let's see what's over here. Nothing. Looks like there's a little area under there, but apparently there's not. It's impossible for you to get to unless you're hacking. Now, the reason why these little side enemies appear is so you can get to this. Ah! I think I finished visiting this old goddess man. Nice. Uh, speaking of, actually, now that I think, uh, now that I think of it, a normal dial with his defecation in place of its like go do. There's actually been a couple of strike attacks, so yeah. Oh. You want to be careful, very careful of those things because they can hurt you. The point of this one is some of these things move. 
so yeah. Boing! Can I press me to the side, bro? Let's play this, we're forced to, what the, we're forced to, uh, go through this one again, so yeah. I think what these things do for attack is, like, go underneath the, the uh, shallow water somehow, and just suddenly come out of nowhere to, like, poke you in the boat with that little, uh, with the little iron fins. Anyways. I don't know how that one is surviving all things when it was like over the th over the uh, flap doors where there are no things of water. This one you had to be really careful with. You have to wait for the corner ones to come. This one you want to be careful with because, yeah, ice physics. Everyone loves good ice physics. Yeah! Oh, wait. Oh! I don't do very good here. I think you can also. Nope, you can't. You have to just wait for the corners to come. Now the ice blocks? They're just. Ice physics are like the most annoying things in game video games ever. Because they make you slip and slide all over the place. Now there's just one pun left. And I know where it is, to be honest with you. Oh, hi! Oh, I can hear it! No, I can't. Well, actually, no, I can't actually just hear it because it's, uh, it's not the. No, no, it's that thing over there. What? How did I get hit for like that? Like, what? Never mind, I'm not gonna question the. Uh, these freaking Nintendo logics because that 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 was quite a lot of hit fame. Oh, hit boxes. Whatever's going on. This is the way you're supposed. To... No, wait, no, that little that little gear way is the way you're supposed to go. This way just leads you to a bunch of coins. This one just leads you to this one. Ah, ah! I'm actually getting a lot hit a lot. Can I get through, please? I said, here's the little switch for that one. So, I mean, now we have to head back to these electrical currents. And. Ugh. Backtracking tends to be the worst, even in Nintendo games. I know they did the mean world so they could like make you go down in circles for these different things, but really. Just they're the worst. You can also stay on top of these little things. So yeah. How much chances do I have? Holy crap I one way. And you hear that little meow, meow. I think it's the last one actually. Oh, no, that's the like, that's the bus that's the area. Yeah. I absolutely hate it. It's like different uh, than the boss of its uh, of its uh, dynamite was. Anyways. I have no idea where that last little uh, one thing. Are you kidding me? It's down here. Uh. So I just got back up here, and apparently this one of those things that I uh, missed. So yeah, I had to go back and sew this. How is that big old thing able to fit through there? Seriously, I think what this one does is confuse you with the with the size of these blocks. And like mess you up. Because if you've gone that far and you fall, 
it sends you all the way back to the beginning. I'm not kidding. I mean that if you fail doing this simple looking level, which is not so simple, you have to start all the way back at the start of it. I don't know what Nintendo was thinking with this level design. By the way, this is the last statue piece and this is the last uh, evil jewel. Anyways. Oh, whoa! Ah! This one you especially had to be careful with, apparently. Right now, let's just put those last two. Yeah, you need four for this little boss, but the. Uh, hold on. Time for. Badal Doll! Who is one of the creepiest bosses, apparently. I never thought. I never found it creepy, to be honest with you. All I had to do is uh, paralyze this thing and uh, give it a London day. It can fly, so you can't send it down off the cliff. You can pound ground it to the ground, though. Like pilot drive it. Like uh, so. Now these pillar things, you can pick them up, but uh. It kind of makes the thing darker, so you need this light to be able to see where this boss is, I think. I never actually figure out what happens if you, uh... uh ah! Now, expect for there to be a boss of which can annoy the absolute heck out of me. Later in this let's play. Because I swear, I don't know what they were thinking, but making one of the next bosses like what it is up ahead. Ow! You'll see what it is later on in the let's play. But right now, it's gonna be a secret. You can also adjust where you throw, and I'm gonna throw it at the screen. Apparently, the fourth wall breaks and destroys it. What the? What the? What? Whoa! Whoa! The whip! The whip! I don't remember that attack. Ow! It headbutted me. I go away. I never knew I could do that one attack. That just did there. This is just wings and explodes. Anyways, we did pretty good there. Four ninety nine nine. Forty nine ninety nine. You're gonna have a lower price of forty nine ninety nine. I don't know. We can play at the next one of one of your statues. And we unlock the next door. I'm gonna stop recording because this one mean that I'm gonna cut here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And I'll see you guys next time. I took us out. Peace. And you didn't think I would do this, did you? Okay. Now I'll see you guys next time. Peace.